welcome back. Um, Thanks. What was your experience like in, in Pakistan? I mean, obviously a lot of people know that it's the first test in like 14 years. You were part of that. It's a historic moment. Particularly, what did you learn from this particular test? Uh, yeah, it's a very good experience. Uh, I think it's obviously not a place you'd go to um, Rosen for cricket. Um, but yeah, a lot of lessons learned. Uh, obviously, I didn't get, uh, get the opportunity to play, but I think just um, being able to train in the nets and sort of get a feel for conditions um, from the outside of the field. Um, similar to India, uh, maybe less turn, a little bit less bounce. Um, wickets are probably slightly better to bat in, a, in red ball cricket. Um, but yeah, no, a lot of lessons learned. Um, yeah, and just, just hopefully I can uh, put those lessons into practice going forward. So we know obviously spin was a problem over there. Um, you had senior guys around like Pak Tupasi, etc. sitting in the dressing room with you. Obviously with you being having Mark Pouch over there as well. What did you learn from them and the way they went about assessing the pitch, assessing conditions, the way obviously Rassi played, the way obviously Aiden played as well? You know, I wouldn't, first I wouldn't say spin was really a problem. Uh, I think if you look at the wickets, I think the could be wrong, but the fourth innings of the last test, I think nine wickets went down to seam. So, yeah, I wouldn't really say spin was much of a problem, to be honest. It's just a case of a lot of spin is bowling. So, um, yeah, the laws of averages say they're going to take more wickets. So, it might look like it was a problem, but I don't think it uh, really was, to be honest. Um, yeah, and then just just obviously learning from uh, from Bouch, uh, Faf, the senior guys, Rassi, Aiden, they played really nicely. I think it's just you just got to stay calm in those conditions. Um, subcontinent generally is quite tough, uh, tough to score quickly. Um, and yeah, you seem to feel under a lot of pressure a lot sooner. So I think it's just, just from what I've learned, just about taking your time and, and sort of absorbing pressure um, that bit longer. So now you come back and play for the Cobras, of course. How excited are you for this T20 competition? Showcase your talent there as well. You know, you, obviously you, you were in the ODI squad before and um, obviously your aspirations to play for the Cobras again, but how are you feeling now ahead of this T20 competition? Yeah, obviously excited. Uh, I haven't really played much cricket of late, so yeah, I think any format I would have been quite excited. But I think T20, um, it's a nice challenge for myself. It's an exciting format. Um, we've got a good side, so yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, I think it's going to be quite a good contest uh, with a lot of the, the more senior international guys uh, looking to be involved. Um, so yeah, it's going to be going to be really good and, and looking forward to, to being back. Uh, yeah, I think uh, four-day cricket, one-day cricket, it's, it's a bit easier to, to adjust. I think T20 cricket takes a little bit more, uh, it's a bigger adjustment for me. Um, so yeah, I've just, just tried to use these last two warm-up games just to figure out a game plan. Um, yeah, I don't really know if I've got it figured out yet, but uh, hopefully I'll, I'll have something sorted by the time we get going. And with regards to being from bubble to bubble, I mean, that must be quite tricky. I mean, what does it do to you mentally? Is it, is it tough to be in that situation? You don't know how it's like it stands. Yeah, I think a lot of guys already said it's quite tough, um, but I think yeah, it's it's the the difficulty of it uh, for players is underestimated. Um, yeah, it's it's it is really difficult. Uh, I think I think not being able to see your family. Uh, I personally, I saw my mother for the first time in two months, um, two days ago. So it's 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 quite difficult. Um, obviously, we're used to staying in hotels and sort of. Um, yeah, being around each other. So from that point of view, it's fine. But I think it's just, just in between tours, uh, you got to isolate, quarantine, and all that. So there's a lot of days it gets taken away from uh, being at home. So it, it is really difficult. But I think uh, we also got to understand that we're fortunate to still have jobs. Um, yeah. So whilst it is quite, uh, quite challenging, uh, we just got to embrace it and and sort of take the best out of it. Um, from the keeping to respect, um, how much practice did you get out there in Pakistan? Are you excited to be back and maybe work with like a guy like Isra Kulikin and get some sessions with him maybe? Yeah, I think obviously Mark Bouch is the, the national uh, coach, so yeah, it's quite nice having him around. Um, we did, did quite a lot of work, um, especially the mornings, mornings of the test matches and stuff. I did quite a lot of work with him. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've, my keeping's in a really good space at the moment. It's also nice coming back to, like you said, Ezra. Um, just sort of passing on the messages of, of what I've learned from, from Mark to him and, and looking to uh, implement that in, in the actual games. The Cobras have a nice unit of young players that have grown up together. How important is it that you, the likes of George, obviously Isabel and Tavin Jason around us, you guys are now kind of like the senior pool in the side. What is it like for you guys? How do you feel about the Cobras set and how is everything evolving? Do you guys see yourself obviously growing and improving? 
Yeah, I think I've said it before. I mean, it's we are a youngish bunch, but I think we've played quite a lot of cricket. Um, most of those names you mentioned now, Yanaman Milan, uh, played a lot of international, or not a lot of international, played international cricket now. Uh, Nandre Berger just got his call up. Um, so there's a lot of us that have good cricketing knowledge, good cricketing experience, and I think um, yeah, there's a lot of also young, exciting guys, Jono, uh, Tony coming through. So I think uh, we're building building a nice group, and yeah, hopefully we can can take that into the T20 campaign.